way, this isn't a CN 250, but that's what we're going to talk about today. What you can do to your uh, CN 250 uh, engine in your 250 scooter. And we all know that uh, the two CN250 is a vertical engine that's 244 cc's. It does come in uh, the uh, YY250 from uh, John Way, which is our expressway model. And you, you have a Lin High sitting here, so don't get the two confused. Lin High uses the horizontal engine, where the, the, the 250s use the vertical engine, like a Honda Helix. That would be the clone of that. So, um, yeah, we got a TGB over here, too. We'll talk about that in a little while. But right now, join me over here at the table. Let's go over these parts. What we got here today is we have some uh, things for your exhaust, which are highly critical for your torque and your, you know, your takeoff, your power in your bottom end. And also, the, uh, the high-performance exhaust will add to your top end. We have a nice one here from um, MRP. This is actually almost the full pipe for a CN250 uh, engine used in the CF Moto, but the CN uh, the CF Moto is a little bit longer, so we've shortened the pipe up a little bit for you. And of course, she comes with your chrome header pipe also. Everybody get that? MRP, high performance. Now, when you do your exhaust, you're going to push more air out. So naturally, you want to add more air. So you have a, a few um, choices there, and these fit right on your car, and there's plenty of room in there. You'll have to remove your air box that's already in there to place a free-flowing, high-performance air filter. Now this one here is just a, quite a simple one from Uni, and it's just a simple pod filter. Same thing a snowmobile would use, a motorcycle, any of your uh, two-wheeled bikes are going to uh, accept this filter. This one will fit right on there. This is what we used over the summer to save us a lot of time and trouble with ones we couldn't get to operate um, correctly and get good gas flow and airflow to it. You also have your choice. You can get a, a chrome one from EMGO that fits rather nicely. It's nice and small, so it pops right on there. This will add the most air of all the air filters that we do have. We also offer one from MRP that is, is covered slightly. Now, the reason for the cover naturally is to keep the dirt and debris out from a high performance motorcycle would be out in the open, or if you put this on a GY6, it would be out in the open. What we wanna do here with this cover is understand that this will block some of the airflow so you do not interrupt your vacuum and lose any of your back pressure to, to pull your gas into your carburetor, and that's important. So if you were having trouble with an air filter like this, you might want to go to one like this that will have the cover and restrict the airflow a little bit. And while I'm on the subject of the airflow, I gotta stress the importance of good gas flow. It seems as if a lot of the, the Chinese scooters kind of lack in the department of the uh, fuel line that's in there. And there's several different types that you can use for the fuel line. Like I would use this from the, the gas tank to the uh, carburetor, direct line. Cut it, put a filter in there. What's really good is you can take a high performance, high flow fuel valve from Japan, from Makuni. This is the real deal. This is what you want to use if you're having problems with your gas flow. Everybody get that? This is a Makuni high flow fuel pump, which will do a much better job than your stock one. It's very important to get your good gas flow and your good air flow. You push this, push it out the high performance pipe, you got it. A better running scooter. Hey, what's up? What's going on today? We're at the scooter shop at Scootertronics. Uh, I'm going to get into some clutches and uh, roller weights over here, so step over here with me. What we got today, we're going to talk about the CN250 transmission. That's a vertical 244cc uh, engine used in uh, the YY250s, which is uh, put out by John Way, JM Star, Riketa, Tank, they have their version, um, along with a few others that uh, probably aren't going to come to mind right now. YY250T is what you want to remember. Clutches play a very, very important part in the torque and the takeoff of our uh, scooters, along with the top end. By adding a high-performance clutch from 
Dr. Pulley, Planini, and also uh, we also have MRP has uh, two new clutches coming out for the uh, 250 that um, will add uh, plenty of performance to your scooter. The Dr. Pulley is the one that we like the, the best. It has uh, two sets of springs in it, the That's pillows back in here. With, with the Dr. Pulley, you're going to have double action. You got six springs, not three, as in a normal stock clutch or this uh, Polanini high performance clutch, not to take anything away from this, because this is going to pop wheelies too. But your Dr. Pulley has got two sets of springs, so you have double the power, double the action going on here. And uh, the Dr. Pulley is also going to come with extra springs, so you can fine tune this thing down to right where you need it. One of the things that uh, we noticed when we did uh, an Expressway 250 was uh, we had too much, too much torque when we took off. So what we did was very simple. We changed the roller weights to, act, to get the variator engaged at a higher RPM to keep it from spinning out when it first started. And you do have two, uh, two types of roller weights you can choose from. It's 23 by 18. Your stock is going to be around 24, 26. By bringing it down to about 21, you get a happy medium of acceleration and top end power with, without losing any of your top end speed. Now your Dr. Pulley weight, of course, is our, our uh, favorite to add in there. Very smooth shifting with this. You don't even feel it, the jerk or anything with these. And then you also can uh, use your round weights. MRP has plenty of different sizes of these and these work just great. And they're also a little longer lasting than your uh, your stock weights, which you'll see probably 500 to 1,000 miles, you'll get a little bit of flat space on there. And, th and you'll feel the performance loss when that does happen. Now to keep your, uh, keep your performance up also, along with that clutch and those roller weights, are a good belt. Your stock belt is going to slip and it is going to stretch. You'll probably feel this at 500 to 1,000 miles. They do have Kevlar belts that don't slip and don't stretch, and they last a long time. I highly recommend that you always have a belt in reserve. You don't want your scooter going down because you didn't have a backup belt. A lot of folks like to change their compression spring. It's all in the spring action, they say. So MRP has graced us with the new types of 250 springs that are actually shorter than any of the ones I've seen. And these do work good. But if, you, if you're if you looking for mainly acceleration, put your spring in along with your new clutch. If you want to save most of your top end, go ahead and skip this part and just do the clutch. 